Rianne and I'm one of the distance learning tutors here at First Intuition and I'll be taking you through um, some revision for both bookkeeping transactions unit and the bookkeeping controls unit. So I'm just going to start off by sharing my screen. Um, can I check that, that you can all see the PowerPoint? Yeah, I can see Jasmine nodding. Okay. Okay, so this evening we're going to have a little look at um, the dual effect, the double entry, so debits and credits, and also have a little look at the different types of errors that we come across in the controls unit. Let's put this onto full screen. Okay, so always remember that every financial transaction that happens has two effects. So for example, you go down to your corner shop and you buy a bottle of milk. The two effects are, firstly, you gain a bottle of milk. Second effect is you lose one pound out of your pocket. So first of all, your asset goes up, you've gained a bottle of milk, but your cash has decreased. Then you need to think about what type of account is being affected. Is it an asset? Is it an expense account? Is it an income account or is it a liability account? So can you tell me what, what is an asset? Just a quick recap of an asset. Okay, if you don't want to speak, you can type it into the chat box. So what is an asset? Yeah, yeah, it could be an item for long term use. Good. So generally an asset is something which the business owns. Yes, Rachel, it's owned by the company. Yeah, it's something that we have. Yeah. And then we have two different types of assets. There's the long term assets. Yeah. And short term assets. So can you remember what are the two different types of assets that we have, the long term and short term? What do we call them? Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, non current assets and current assets. So examples of non-current assets, so these are your long-term assets. These are things like the buildings, any vehicles, um, any fixtures and fittings in the office, any office equipment, they're non-current assets. Current assets are more short-term assets used for the day-to-day -day running of the business. Um, so these are things like um, your receivables, your stock, their current assets, your bank account is a current asset. Okay, so what about an expense? Well, you know what an expense is, but can you give me an example of an, ex an expense which a business might face? What different expense accounts might we have? Wages, yeah, good, Jasmine. Yeah, rent, good, Rachel. Any others? Okay, but you, you know what the uh, expense accounts are. So you might also get um, utility bills like your telephone, electricity. Okay, and then we have income. So what's an example of an income account for a business? What will be the main income that a business will have? Yeah, yeah, it could be rental income. 
Yeah, and it's mainly from sales, sales income, good. And then we have a liability. So what is a liability? Yes, yeah, something that the company owes. And again, you have the non-current liabilities, which are your long-term liabilities. And then you have your current liabilities, which are your short term. So an example of a non-current liability could be a bank loan, whereas a non-current liability is things like your credit suppliers and your tax. OK. So once you've determined what type of account it is, always then remember to refer to your dead and click to help determine whether it should go onto the debit side or the credit side. And always remember there should always be an equal debit and credit entry of an equal amount. So for every debit, there should be a credit of the same amount. Okay, so we're going to go and do um, a practice question. And okay, just let me move the chat box out of the way. Okay, so first of all, so we're going to look at the dual effect and then the double entry. So a business makes cash sales of £200. So what would the dual effect be? What are the two things that are happening? So when we make a cash sale of £200. Let me know in the chat box, box if you're not sure what I mean here. Yeah, so, yeah, so, um, so, yeah, so Mariana, yeah, your money is increasing. So, Rachel, you've put your asset decreases but remember your money is an asset so your cash is an asset and your assets increasing because you're receiving money for sales and then you're right your income your sales income is also increasing so if we write it in uh, my, my pen working. so the first effect is your sales which is your income is increasing and also your cash which is an asset account is also increasing just need to move these books out the way Okay, it's gone now. Okay, so which account would be the debit and which would be the credit? So I'll just right that and click here just in case you need it. Excuse my writing. So which account? is the debit and which is the credit. Uh, yeah, excellent, Jasmine. Yeah, we would debit the cash account because the cash account is an asset. And the asset is increasing, so it's a debit. And then we would credit our sales because sales falls into the click side, which is an income, which is a credit, sorry. 
to an app. If there's any that you are sure, sure of, please just let me know. Okay, so number two, so a business makes sales on credit of a thousand pounds. So what's, what's a dual effect? What's the two things that's happening? So in the first one, we're making cash sale. This time we're making a credit sale. So what are the two effects? Let me know if you're not sure. You're right, um, Mariana, it is your receivables. Your receivables are increasing, but what type of account are your receivables? You're right, the receivables are increasing. Yeah, they're an asset, that's it. So because they're an asset and the asset is increasing, the receivables would actually be a debit. Yeah, and the sales increasing, excellent. New sales are increasing. Remember sales is your income account. Your receivables is your asset. So our debit will be receivables because it's an asset and the asset is increasing. Then we would credit sales because sales is an income, so it goes onto the click side of our dead and click. Okay, so number three, a business purchases a new computer for £500. So what are the two effects? So when you buy a new computer, what will the two effects be for the business? Yeah, yeah, so you're both right. Yeah, brilliant. So your asset is increasing, which is your asset of computers. So we'd put computers. This is our asset increasing and our money is decreasing or our cash is decreasing, which is our asset account. So which would be our debit and which would be our credit? Excellent, yeah. So our computer account would be our debit. which means our cash account will be our credit. Remember, if you're not sure why 
any of these are the way around which they are, just remember to ask. So a business pays £200 for goods for resale. So what's the two effects? So you're paying £200 for goods to resale. So in other words, the company's purchasing goods worth £200. So what's the two effects? Excellent, Jasmine. Yeah. So we would increase our goods. So good, um, Mariana, goods and assets inventory increased. Yeah, excellent. Yeah, so our, we, 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 we'd say our purchases. So our purchases, remember, is an expense for the business. Is increasing. And quite, Quite rightly, Mariana says that our purchases um, are a, a debit. Remember, an expense account, it falls onto the dead side of dead and click. So what's the second effect then? Okay, so Jasmine, yeah, you've put there, sorry, a decrease in cash. So our asset account, the decrease to an asset account would be a credit. Okay, so number five, a business pays £150 for insurance. So what are the two effects and what would the debit and credit be? So you're paying £150 to pay for insurance. Excellent, Marianne. Yep, yeah, the expense account is increasing, so it would be a debit. Yeah, and good, Jasmine. Yeah, your cash, again, is decreasing. Okay, so our insurance expense. is increasing and we're spending £150 on the insurance so our cash is decreasing. Insurance is an expense account so it will go onto the debit side. That was for £150. Okay, so the owner of the business puts £1,000 into the business bank account. So the owner is investing £1,000 into the business. So what would the two effects be and would it be a debit or credit? Ooh. Yeah, excellent Rachel. So the capital in the business is increasing. And also the money in the business bank account is also increasing. And yes, Mariana, the capital account would be a credit because it falls into the click side. Brilliant. Yeah, and the money would be a debit. Excellent. So capital is increasing. And the bank is also increasing. So cash is our asset. So that would be our debit. Thousand pounds, and then capital. Excellent. And then the last one. So the owner of the business takes eight hundred pound cash out of the business. Excellent, Rachel. Yeah. So the drawings increase. 
remember when um, the owner of the business takes money out for personal use, it's called drawings. Drawings fall onto the debt side. So drawings are increasing and our money, our cash, is also increasing. Sorry, our cash is not increasing at all, is it? It's decreasing. Where's it really gone? So our asset this time is decreasing. So our drawings, the debit, this one's a chat box. Eight hundred pound. Cash. Your credit is eight hundred pound. Okay. So let's go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. So different types of errors. Um, that you might come across in the controls unit. So we have error of omission, error of commission, error of principle, a reversal of entries, transposition error, and an unequal entry. So just very briefly, so what is an error of omission? Yeah. Yeah, so an error of omission is where a transaction has been missed in the double entry. Good. What about an error of commission? Now, error of commission and error of principle are always the two that everyone gets mixed up with. But first of all, let's have a look at error of commission. And just let me know in the chat box if you're not sure. Okay, so um, an error of commission is where um, the wrong type of account is, where the wrong, the, the right type of account has been used, but it's the wrong account. So for example, it could be that a wrong expense account has been used. So an electricity bill may have been posted accidentally to the rent account. So the both expense accounts it's the wrong expense account and then we have error of principle so can anyone else remember what error of principle is Yeah, excellent, Mariana. Yeah. So um, an error of principle is where the wrong type of account is used. So for example, an expense account was used instead of an asset account. So it might be that the business has bought a new vehicle and instead of posting it to the vehicle asset account, they've posted it to the vehicle repair expense account. So that's to the totally wrong type of account. So what about reversal of entries? Yeah, the debit on the credit has been posted the wrong way around. Yeah, excellent. What about transposition error? Yeah, you've mixed the figures up. So you've typed in the digits of the number the wrong way around. And then an unequal entry, what would that be? Yeah, so it's just the debit and credits being posted to different amounts, so they don't balance. So now we're just going to go through the list again very briefly and just say whether or not you think that it would cause the trial balance to balance. Uh, to imbalance or not. 
So first of all, error of omission. So this is where we forget to post the transaction. Would this cause the trial balance to not balance? could do it depends so if one side of the double entry was posted but the other side wasn't posted then it would cause an um, uh, an imbalance however if both sides of the double entry was missed off then it wouldn't cause an imbalance so it would just depend there and then what about an error of commission so remember this is where the the right type of account has been used so like an expense account but it's just the wrong expense account would that cause an imbalance yeah no Rachel you're right yeah yeah good what about error of principle so the wrong type of account Yeah, no. Yeah, good. Yeah, so with an error principle, still a debit and credit of the same amount has been entered, so it, it won't cause an imbalance. Reversal of entries, would that cause an imbalance? No, good. Yeah. And what about transposition error? So I've seen, um, I think it's Mariana, you've put that that would cause an imbalance so you're right so transposition error because one side will have perhaps the correct number the correct figure and then on the other side you will have mixed the digits up so it won't be an equal posting yeah and mariana yeah that's right we we could also have a maths error as well a calculative error good and then an unequal error would also cause a trial balance to imbalance. So it wouldn't balance because there wouldn't be a debit and a credit of, of an equal amount. So now we're going to go on to this last worksheet just quickly. Um, where's it gone? Okay. So thinking of them types of errors, this box out of the way okay so first of all so we have a company purchased a new computer for the office costing 800 pound this was posted as a debit to the office expense account and a credit to the bank account so what type of error is it so they bought a new computer and it was posted to the office expense account as a debit and a credit to the bank account. Mm. Yeah, error of principle, yeah. Yeah, th this is the one that confuses everybody. So they've bought a new computer. So computer, remember, is an asset to the business. So it should have gone to the computer asset account, whereas they posted it to the office expense account. So it's the wrong type of account. So it's error of principle. Yeah, this is this is one of the tricky ones. Okay, so the next one. So a payment for insurance was entered as a debit of £200 in the rent expense account and a credit of £200 in the bank account. Yeah, you're right, Rachel. This one's an error of commission. So it's a payment for insurance, but it was entered to the rent expense account instead of the insurance expense account. So it's the right type of account, just the wrong one.
Okay, so the third one. So a credit sale for goods costing £1,150 was entered in the main ledger as a debit to purchases for £1,150 and a credit to the purchase ledger control account for £1,510. So what type of error is this? So the debit side has been posted as 1150 and the credit side has been posted as 1510. Mm, not a reverse, because remember a reverse one is where the debit and credit's the wrong way around. Yes, Rachel, it's a transposition error. is the right way around but what's wrong are these two figures on this one they've gotten the five and the one the wrong way around so that's called a transposition okay so the next one a payment for advertising was not posted to any of the accounts in the general ledger what type of error yeah, brilliant. An error of omission. Okay, so next one. So a credit customer made a payment of £500. This was posted as a debit of £500 in the sales ledger control account and a credit of £500 to the bank account. So what type of an error? Excellent, yeah, it's a reversal error. Remember, so because when a customer makes a payment, if we just do a little T account, the payment, would increase the bank account, which is an asset. So it would be entered as a debit. And in the sales ledger control account, which is also, oops, that seems to talk and write at the same time. And the sales ledger control account is also an asset, but because um, the customer is paying off some of what they owe it is actually decreasing the asset so it should be entered as a credit so it was a reversal they've done it the wrong way around okay so a business bought 300 pound of goods on credit this was entered as a debit of the 300 pounds in the purchases account and 30 pounds in the purchase ledger control account so what type of error is this Yeah, good, Jasmine, excellent. So it's an, un yeah, brilliant, Rachel. So it's an unequal entry. Okay, and then a payment for electricity was entered as a debit to the telephone expense account and a credit to the bank account. So what type of error? So payment for, yeah. Brilliant. So it was for electricity, but it was posted to the wrong expense account. It went to the telephone account. So brilliant. Okay, and then last one, a new machine was purchased for the factory. This was posted as a debit to the vehicle expense account and a credit to the bank account. So what type of error? Yeah, error of principle. So a machine was bought for the factory, the machine is an asset, but it was actually posted to the vehicle expense account. So it's the wrong type of account, so it's error of principle.
Brilliant. Okay, so does anyone have any questions on tonight's session?